Damn, there you go. I don't know how much. Dude, today's a bad day, man. I'm sorry. I didn't bring my phone or my camera. It's one of them. The good thing I brought the backup shit. <laughs> Usually we got like three cameras and four right, batteries. Right, right, right. Shit. I wish we could go back to the rest of that. It ain't like we ain't ripping through. I left the house early today. I was ready to teach. You see that shirt, the Black Panthers? The government set them up in church. They don't have the interests of our people, the best interests of our people in the heart. It's all set up for it. It's, it's, it's serving a purpose. And that's purpose is to make sure certain laws get passed. You know, certain, uh, certain legislation can get passed, like gun laws. Laws how we assemble on the streets. Because there's some people that gather in the neighborhoods, whether they a gang or not, if they're assembling on the corners, they're gonna be labeled as a gang and they're gonna get charged as, as, as that matter. That's you why know? they that's why they letting them riot right now. Well, that's right. And they, that's the purpose of people like the New Black Panther Panther Party is to cause more confusion, you know, cause uh like causing a riot, you know, having people in that in that rebellious type of spirit. You like know? The new black Black Panthers the same? All of them, yeah. New and old, ain't no difference. They all the same people. They even have proof to them. Back in the day, they had CIA uh, motherfuckers raided up in their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the biggest recruiters are, come out of, man. The CIA, when they look for them, their best recruiters, they go to these universities. Mm. These college teams. You know? Oh, you want to go back to that people? Yeah, that's got some fire up there. It's like August already. What is this right here about the veneer? Well, that's a. This is funny. You know what the CDC is? I don't know if you can get that on camera. Yeah. Or not. Center of Disease, Center of Disease and Control. According to the government statistics, and these are from 2000, what, 2012? That over, what does it say? 100, over 110 million people got STDs mm. in America. So, but the numbers are actually way higher than that. That's just the reported cases from 2012. That was what, three years ago? That's like one third. Well, that's, that's over half. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how, it's many, like, how many? How many brothers? It's like 350. Well, it's like 350 million Americans. So that's almost half. Nearly, you know what I mean? That's like one. That's like one third. Right. That's just nah. That's not. That's not. A, that's only the reported cases. Okay. That's just what they can prove. But most people, when they get when they get burned or something, they don't. They don't even go to the uh, clinic. They hide it. Mm -hmm. Especially a lot of women. They'll be ashamed. They they hide it. That's why you gotta be careful when you get with these women. Check it out. One thing it was, our people, man, what they like to do is a lot of these brothers watching them fucking nasty ass pornos and they seeing five, six niggas on one woman. That's a nasty, wicked act, man. You ain't supposed to be sharing no woman with, with any man. No, no, no. With way. any man. That woman is supposed to be with one man her whole entire life. And that's, that's it. That's it. Unless he dies, her husband dies, she, she's able to go on to another man. But let me read this for you. Real That's quick. why you got all the diseases, all this adultery. Then you got all these homosexuals. We was just downtown, and they got homosexual. You know the rainbow flags. They got uh, homosexual rainbow flags all up on the light post, all the way downtown, right, Ooh, right now. Facts, you can look down Broad Street and see faggot flags flying all the way down the street. Yeah. Nobody making this shit up. It's out there. Jeremiah three and one. They say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man. Shall he return unto her again? Yeah, Shall man. not that land be greatly polluted? That's pollution. Now, pollution, what's the, what are the, the characteristics of pollution is disease, and, you know? Most women, they can, I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a high percentage, probably 80% of these women got HPV. Uh, um, it's 70% black women that were hurt. That way, that's the HPV. Yeah, right, right. That's the, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Seventy something, seventy. 
It's quite high than that. Those are just the reported cases. That's just reported cases. That's just reported cases. And that's only because these niggas don't give a damn if that woman got a husband yeah, yeah, at home. Yeah, but don't you, isn't it 70% of the women with HPV are labeled black, but not 70% of black women have it? 70% of black women? No, that's what I'm saying. It's 70 percent of people. That's just women. been reported. Well, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. Well, but we don't know really. It's just a lot. It's, it's terrible either way. It's, it's out of hand. Right, right? You know it's terrible mean? either way. Yeah. That's because why you, know, you gotta be careful when you get with a woman. You gotta do a check. You gotta check. Them. You gotta check a woman. And we like looking at pussy anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You find a fine ass woman with fat ass, nice pretty. You what? You look. You like looking at her anyway. You know. Yeah. You like looking at it, you might, you might kiss him. <laughs> you know, but you gotta check it out. You got sometimes you got finger test. You gotta, you have to do that. Oh man. You know, because these women don't care just like these men don't care who they sleep with, man. Mm -hmm. And diseases running rampant. Hell, Indiana is under a state of the whole state of Indiana is under a state of emergency with AIDS right now. Man. Now that's AIDS in, in Indiana, you said? Indiana, the whole state of Indiana is under emergency right now. It's under a, a, an emergency. It's like it's spreading. It's like it's getting out of control. But that's part of the science anyway. Let me read. That's why the here. Lord said. Uh, that's why He I'm said this is a wicked, adulterous generation. All that. If there wasn't no adultery, we wouldn't have this problem. You know what that's I mean? Right, that's if right. people was following the, the commandments of the Lord, then we wouldn't be no problem. Everybody won't be disobedient. Woman got to be a, what do they call it? The, uh, uh, I'm an independent woman. They independent. They don't need no man. You know what I'm saying? Because they can go to the bookstores and buy them dildos or yeah. bomb them off. And then they go to the government. They can leave you. I said a woman can get, uh, she can have sex with a thousand women. Uh, excuse me, with a thousand and women. A thousand men. Have five different babies, daddies, and then she'll get child support from each one of them. Woo! She'll get sugar rewarded for well, food stamps, EBT, a house. Just curses that's mentioned in the Bible. It's mentioned. And the man gets nothing. Curses. Curses. And if you don't pay that child support, you go, you get locked up. They don't like you. What were you we saying? Uh, how is the child support thing a curse? Let me show you. I was definitely a curse. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but like... Uh, you know, this brother's playing child support and he's not even there. Yeah, yeah, but how is it a curse as far as... In the Bible? Yeah. I get that. I get it. I got a curse. I'm going to go to... This is a... There's a woman... If a woman leaves her husband, the Bible says... That if, you, if, you, if a woman leaves a man, she leaves with nothing. She gets nothing when she goes. This is... Baruch 3 and 8. Behold! Turn out that book. Oh, 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 oh. Behold! We are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. You know, child support ain't nothing but an extra, another tax. Another way of them taxing us, man. Like we ain't been taxed enough already. Get your check, man. How much your check been taken out before you even get your check? The devil's got it already. Yep. You know what happens if you don't pay your taxes? You get locked up. <laughs> it's like if you don't pay child support, you get locked up. You like grand father. Fans be going up the driveway, coming out your crib with the furniture. The just like, yeah, they just do that to uh, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> oh, right, right. Lauren, Lauren Hill got Hill. locked up. Go ahead. Israelites, the only the curses is only on these people. Look, only I got a precept. Deuteronomy twenty eight. Yeah. And, uh, Different thing. So thirty. Yeah. This is one of the curses. If you read it, it says, but if, if it comes to pass, and that will now hark. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifteen. But it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do all the commandments. And statutes which I have commanded thee this day, the that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, cursed thou shalt be in the field. Come out your job. That's the field. You out there working, grinding, toiling, grinding. You working all day, every day, but you ain't getting shit. To go. Like you said, they take your, half your check for you and get your uh, money. When you, you said, so these people are you know, taking your cash. To correct that, 
wouldn't you be able to uh, stop him from doing that if you? Hey, no, we can do. There's not we can do. All you can do is keep the commandments. Stop him from getting your. Come up specifically to stop him from getting your cash. You could uh, have yourself in the proper status to where what they're applying to you wouldn't actually be exercised. Man. They catch your ass not paying taxes. That's your ass. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying eluding them. I'm saying you would uh, actually converse with them and then they you know you know that's, people yeah. doing that constantly. Yeah, they do, do that constantly, just like do what? Uh, as far as the taxes goes, you know, Wesley Spike had he was legit as far as his situation they goes, but they it. didn't care. They don't care. They don't care. I don't. I don't know specifically know about Wesley. Right. Say it again. Because you got a lot. Of, oh, okay. Well, you got a lot of brothers. What happened? Because they know the law. A lot of them will know the law and follow the law, and they they like I, they don't think they don't have to pay certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? They've been studying the law, and when they go to court, the judge don't give a damn about the law. That's the devil. You know what I'm saying? That's right. The devil don't care about law. Hell no. It's the system set up against you. That's why it says uh. Cursed thou shalt be in the city, cursed shalt thou be in the field, cursed shall be thy basket at the store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of the land and the uh, increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Yeah, you see all these monsters on the ground. Let me skip down here, all the way down to verse 30, because we can read it all, but you know, listen to this. When you get a chance to read that, Deuteronomy 28, the whole chapter just breaks it down to all kinds of shit. It's those as far as people can see. Let's get to the spirit of the man. Deuteronomy 2830, listen to this. It says, Thou shalt be troubled a wife. Thou shalt be troubled a wife. And another man shall lie with her. What are you talking about when you walk up? That's just the spirit that come out. Oh, what's up? <laughs> the, the wise man was something. Yeah, that goes back to that child support. Because yeah. a woman, the Bible says if a woman leaves you, has sex with another man, the punishment for that is death. He's supposed, that's adultery. But this is part of the curses. That shall be told the wife, and another man shall lie with her. See, this that shall build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Right. See, this wicked, the wicked runs the earth. So the laws of the Lord is voided out. Yeah, they void it so out. So you can't kill these. You can't uphold the laws of the Bible. You know, you can't kill these homosexuals. You can't kill an adulterer that lays with your wife. Yeah, the Bible they lock you up. Says, that's right. They lock you up. Oh, that's why they try to talk shit about uh, O.J. Simpson. Uh huh. Remember what he did was a good thing. Remember, they always try to make him out like he was a bad guy. Remember, OJ Simpson killed Ohio Simpson. Oh, I thought about the OJ Simpson case because when they were in the time, I was like four or five. So oh, yeah. You don't care. I can tell you, you don't care. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was in high school, but yeah. Right. Because what they try to say he was evil because they killed his wife and that she had committed adultery. Mm -hmm. She left him and got with another man. So the Lord had put that spirit on him. To shank him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he shanked mm -hmm. Even though we ain't telling nobody to go kill nobody or nothing. Right, right. But we gotta wait for him. Right. Yeah. But that's just a case of uh, they, they make you out like you're evil for doing something good. Mm -hmm. But like today, I just went to the store, and got my stuff, and uh, and stuff like that. No, it's not. But uh, something is, but it's like it's a Myth be me international. It's a zero dollars tax. Yesterday. Oh, them taxes in there somehow, though. They're in there somehow. What is it for? Yeah, but it does say that, but um, what is that? You got cut off, but it's uh, space different. Uh, some, it's some bulk. Yeah. yeah. Was it for a school? Not for me. Not. It's just double one is throwing bulk. Oh, uh, what's for? What's, what's for though? I'm going to bulk. I don't know. There's hidden taxes. There's hidden taxes in there. Who knows how they do? And it's probably a Jew tax. I, mean, I wish I could see it, man. What you bought, because look at the labels and stuff. You can see there's hidden taxes on it already. Right, you ever go to the grocery store and buy food? They say food's not taxed, right? That's what they say. That's a lie. And anything you get from the store, I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. I got a water bottle. Let's see if it's on right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's got it right here, the K. See that K? Mm -hmm. It stands for kosher. Mm -hmm. That's a Jew tax. You see the K? <laughs> get it on there. It's either going to have a K. Or it's going to, you ever see a, a food product that has a, a U with a circle on it? Right here. Get that on there. That, go, that goes back to the Orthodox Union of the Jews. 
the, the so-called Jews are not Jews, they're devils. Where did you get that from? They got a hidden tax on all the food. And there's a there's a, a bunch of different symbols they use. The K is one of them. The, the U with the circle is another one. Sometimes they'll just write it in Hebrew. You don't say kosher in Hebrew. They don't question it. No, they, they don't question it. Right. Because we're, we're told not to question everything. So, so, so what do you it's a t What it is, you, if, say you own a, uh, say say you own your own food company, you're going to sell water or you're going to sell juice, you're not allowed to distribute it to any stores unless you pay the so-called juice money. It's mm -hmm. called it's called the kosher tax. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to do it. They, otherwise, your food will never make it to the so-called juice. They, they won't let you operate. They'll shut, you'll get shut down. And it don't mean it's kosher, like it's good to go, no. It just means that you paid you paid the so-called Jew the money to put it in the store. Here you go. This but like, you know how, uh, you, you can read that, so, uh, I can remember my question. You can read that. Okay, this is on that Jew tax. Non-Jews are unaware that all food products marked with the K or U symbol have been taxed by Jewish rabbis. See, they got that K symbol, he showed you the U, right? No, each and there's more symbols than that. There's actually there's many. There's multiple symbols. Right. No, each nation has its own symbol. Check the local Jewish publication to find out what mark of a beast is being used in your own country. On every pantry shelf in America, lay dozens of canned and packaged food products which have a tiny K or U printed on the label. Yep. And that the U, I know for a fact. I went to their website. It's the Orthodox Union. It's orthodoxunion.com uh, or .org. And it, because there's so called Jews over there in Israel, they're not even real Jews. Oh, yeah, I know that from history. Yeah, those are the people who are like the Polish or whatever, and they came and then they started taking that label. Yeah, people. I'm trying to remember when they took on that name, when they took on Judaism, they took on Islam. It was a take, I can't find them. Right here. I'm slipping. Who can never bring this out of hell? Let's read this. Oh, the synagogue of Satan sign. That's why it's good to have this sign. That's right. That's right. All right. So let's let's read this first. Yeah, we we, we know. I know the Europeans. Um, they'll say that they're in South Africa. I'm not going to South Africans. They're here calling South Americans. They're none of those people. They're, they're right. Because look at it. They're actually Edomites. And that's mm -hmm. a uh, biblical character. It says uh, Edom is modern Jewry. Okay. You know who Edom is? Um. Uh, Sure. Edom, yeah. is the, the people who descend from uh, Esau, mm -hmm. okay, because the Israelites descend from Jacob, mm -hmm. but Jacob had a, a, a brother named Esau. Right there he goes. You know, <laughs> that's right, right, that's there. right, that's right. Because all black people are the same, and all white people you see ain't the same. Right. Because it's kind of funny, Cap. Because some white people you actually look at is actually a brother. <laughs> that's a curse that some of them have is leprosy. That's a curse like we, curses that we have, like... Uh, all, you know, all the curses, being broke, struggling, you know, just name it, all the curses we've been going through, and that's just another curse that's in the Bible, all people, up uh, right here, right here in human place, right here, the curse of leprosy. <laughs> yeah, we're getting that too. We're getting and there's an example in the Bible, Matthew, where the Lord is actually talking to brothers that had leprosy, and he turned them all back into the right, right, right to skin. And all of them walked away except one. And only one of them do stand there and thank you. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh -huh. That's why he said, uh, cure the lepers, uh, raise the dead, heal the sick. Right. And those lepers, those ten lepers that he healed were not Edomites. They were Israelites with the curse of lepers. They were actually black men with the curse of lepers. So all these people you see that walk around are the same people. For example, like Eminem. He's an Israelite. That's a nigga. Yeah, cause he's what you call a dick. <laughs> cause ain't no Edomite rapping like Eminem. Where <laughs> Edomites can't rap. Right, right. You know all them rock stars. Israelites. All of them are Israelites. Even a lot of them country stars. Country stars too. Yeah, the country. They got though, that swag. Ain't nothing but the blues. That's country it. ain't nothing but the blues. That's just blues with a twang to it. Yeah. Right. 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 It's right. like all black people ain't the same it's as that. Beautiful man. The Lord is bad, yeah. man. The Lord is bad, man. The people got his power limited. You know, they got the Lord, they got them thinking that the Lord don't want to go do the wrong thing. They got nothing going on. The Lord likes variety. Right. Yeah, Israel's the most numerous people on earth. You like just one type of woman? You like all different types of women, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Black women, white women. You got, you going on with you? Yeah, you I got there. Well, you a student? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, you're looking at all these women. You ain't just looking at one. 
You looking at all of them. I know you see all these fine ass Chinese hoes out there. I know you ain't no fag. <laughs> you don't fit the description of a fag. I get, I get you. You don't seem like a fag. I get you. Yeah. Like, you know, Chinese. Uh, you seem like a little kind of rough brother. You know, you know Bruce Lee is, don't you? Bruce Lee's an Israelite. One of our people had sex with one of the fine ass Chinese women. <laughs> and that's where Bruce Lee came from. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just look at his spirit. That's how you know. Look at, just look at it, the way he moves. Let me read this. This is from Revelation 2 and 9. This is talking to us. Revelation 2 and 9, it says, I know that works and tribulation and poverty, we all poor, but thou art rich. We're rich because we got this knowledge. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are the Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Woo! That's talking about them Jews over there in Israel. It says, which say they are Jews. They say they're Jews, but they're not. <laughs> That's why they, look what they're doing right here. You see, you know what they're doing right here? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. A so-called Jew, what happens when they circumcise their baby boys, mm -hmm. they have a rabbi come through and suck the blood out the baby's penis. Suck it, really? Suck it, the baby's little pee-pee, man. They're, they're child molesters. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, look, there's two pictures. Oh, they're, 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 they're holy book because the Bible's just a front. Thing. They don't really believe they don't, in the Bible. Yeah, they don't follow, they follow the Talmud. Talmud, right. And their Talmud is their, their, their wives have sex with their sons and vice versa before the age of um, before the age of nine. And it's crazy, man. These devils just... But they're, look at that fat ass on that right thing right there. Look at that ass on that. <laughs> God! I'm oh, tripping. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, who was I at? Oh, yeah. Talmud. Man. I got a bunch of Talmud quotes right here. Yeah, that Talmud is something else, man. I, the they, they got it in that Yiddish. And they know ain't nobody going to be studying no Yiddish to read no, 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 uh, no, uh, so-called unholy book that, that they read. So they all want to see what's in that book, but these last days now, and the Lord put the Spirit with something brothers to interpret the Talmud. That Yiddish they speak to. Find all that, find all that madness in that book. Man. Listen to this. This is from the Talmud. It said this debate concerns whether or not someone is a virgin. Virginity is prized above all, such that it is believed that a girl under the age of three will regain her virginity, even if a man has had intercourse with her. Having sex with a child. Like, in regard to putting the finger in the eye. Hmm. Tears come to the eye again and again. So does virginity. Come back to a little girl under three years. As long as she, if she's three years and one, it's... <laughs> Listen to this shit. How do you spell that? Uh, Talmud. Talmud. T-A-L-M-U-D. Talmud. Oh, okay. Talmud. And then it goes on to say that, uh, that a, uh, since virginity is prized above all, one could assume that this conclusion has allowed grown men to have sex with little girls with immunity. A grown-up woman is not devoured by having sex with a small boy. However, since he is only like a piece of wood. See, listen. The scripture in Joel 9 and 13 says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Now, those so-called people that are power, the real powerful people, they, they're untouchable. They can do what the fuck they want. With oh, look what this they Jew right here That's says. why they do them this, because they can do what they want. You ever heard of the Rothschilds? The Rothschilds are the richest people on earth. This is what this devil, Nathan Mayer Rothschild, said. He said, I care not what puppet is placed upon the throne of England to rule the empire on which the sun never sets. The man who controls Britain's money, the man who controls Britain's money supply controls the British Empire, and I control the British money supply. <laughs> well, the Rothschilds, they're not the rich people. Um, oh, are they the richest they're, on the they're, planet? They're the, they're, the, they're the gods of this world. They're worth over $500 trillion. He, he just said he controls the Britain. Britain is the most powerful nation on Earth next to America. Not wrong. Well, America's part of this, ain't no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The gods that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. But you know how... Shit, <laughs> really? Did you see the really? Really? Uh, really? <laughs> you know how, um, I missed that. <laughs> uh, like Venezuela and uh, <laughs> other nations are nationalizing uh, the negative resources. 
like like and stuff. Yeah, so that's taking toll. Other money supply from the European. So if each nation does that, and then then that statement of him will no longer be true. But the 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 you know you miss it out. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you do that, guess what they do? That's what Gaddafi did. Yeah. What happened to Gaddafi? He sent him military. Yeah, but Cuba also did that, and it's a different conversation. With that's because Cuba got uh, Russia backing them. Yeah, that same with Venezuela. But as well, Charles is playing both sides. Yeah. They're not just on one side. They're playing the both sides. Now, just like there's reports of that during uh, the Civil War. Well, Charles, that's really how they gain control of the world. And, and they, the they was fun in the North and the South. <laughs> for the both of them. They're clever devils. That's man. called divide and conquer. Yep. Yep. They're clever. That's how they do they're it. Clever. And they got sons. And Robert, the whole child put their, put their sons all over the world, you know? Mm -hmm. They're clever, man. They're real clever. They're, cle people, they're masters of psychology. <laughs> you know the so called Jew invented psychology. You know Sigma Freud, the so called Jew. And they praise him. He was a co-cat, too. And they, they praise him in these uni universities. He was a mastermind, a co-cat, mm -hmm. a, a so-called Jew, a an Edomite, an Edomite. And the yeah. psychologist trick, they are putting it in this world and fooling the fuck. That's how they uh, they manipulating these fools to engage in riots and all this shit. <laughs> all these riots is all set up. You see all these, uh, all these protesters, they coming out with these giant... Uh, posters and billboards and that shit costs a lot of money to make. Oh, yeah. Who, who's supplying all of that? Yeah. That, costs, that costs a lot of money. Yeah, everything is set up. Everything is set up. This man, this devil is clever as hell. He's clever. Yeah, that's why he's called he's the clever. devil. I mean, the Bible does mention that about trying. You know, he came through the elect, but you know, who was I going to get on? So, are you saying the Rothschilds are also influencing Russia? Well, they're so-called Jews. They're Edomites, but they got but they got families all over the earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, but I'm not. And there goes your homie with the upside down pentagram. Oh, that sure is, ain't it? That upside down cross. This dude got an upside down cross carved on his carved on his chest. A tattoo? No, no, he did it with a knife. Oh, that's on his actual skin. Yeah. The food right there. Big faggot right here. Walking, talking on the phone. My fault. What was you saying, man? Um. Oh, the, so are you saying that the Rothschilds are controlling Russia and Venezuela? They control the whole Earth. Whole Earth. There's not a place they don't control. But, like, listen, there's obviously a portion of the Rothschilds out there. Like the dragon family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard about the dragon family. I don't know how much truth there is to that. Yeah, but the dragon family ain't nothing but the Rothschilds. Yeah, that's probably. They ain't nothing but the Rothschilds. No, no. You know, they got Rothschilds like, who were black. But, but, but I'm saying the, the dragon family. The Rothschilds only came out with two. Well, they were labeled as dragons. The dragons before they were, before uh, their name Bauer got put the out there, before they changed dragon. their name, they were, they were right there. They the old serpent, that dragon is Satan. The thirteen tribe. It mentions how they were. Let me get it. Let me see if I can find it though. Because in the book called the thirteen tribe, they mentioned how they, they, that was one of their names, the dragon. Okay, they do got family members. Let me see if I can find it. Even like your boy from. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I remember that. Because all the elite families of the earth, man, they all, behind closed doors, they all communing together. That's why Kim Jong-un, uh, you know Kim Jong-un, right? You know, he went to school, and he was educated in Switzerland. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. That's where all the elite uh, joined, that, where all the banks at? Where do they keep all the gold? Switzerland. Everybody know about Switzerland. The Rothschilds keep that gold in Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of these elite families, they go to Switzerland and they have their meetings. That's why they, you got the Geneva Convention. Where's that? Geneva's in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that? They just had that uh, meeting up in Switzerland not too long ago with Iran and all that, talking about, uh, I forget what it was called. Yeah, right, right. You're but they always meet in Switzerland. Right, right. You're talking about negotiating with, negotiating with nuclear, yeah. nuclear stuff here. Always in Switzerland. It's always in Switzerland. Right now, they're here in New York right now. Uh -huh. They're here right now. New York. New York, right now. The United Slaves of America. That's a good book right there. It's a bad book. Some Texans are telling themselves that they know they, know they ain't Jews. They're telling themselves. Yeah, yeah.
I know that. No, they're not. Well, they ain't Edomites. That's why the Rothschilds are called Rothschilds. Roth means red. Yeah. It's like Esau, it means red. Or Edom. They go back to East Esau. Their last name used to be Meyer. Okay, uh, Meyer, uh, what's it? And they found. Oh, my fault. Bauer. Meyer and Shell Bauer. His last name used to be Bauer. And they changed their name to Rothschild. What I meant, though, was before they, before they took on Judaism and Islam, they were known as the Dragon People. You know? They are dragon people. Right, right. The Bible calls them the dragon. The great red serpent, the dragon. That's a Revelation 12. So, uh, I, I, I get that, but are you telling me that the dragon family is the same as Russia? Same people. Same family. They probably is, man, because all, all this... That's the yeah. idea that they are opposed to the... You know, what does that mean, though? What is, hold on, hold on now. What is Anglo-Saxon power structure? There ain't, ain't no Anglo-Saxon power scratch, structure. Scratch, scratch that. I'm saying the European Edomite power structure. I'm saying yeah. the Jack family would be in opposed to that. And how would they be on the same side? Just check this out. It would say communist China. Yeah. They're communists. Yeah. They follow the doctrine of Karl Marx. Uh -huh. Who's Karl Marx? Uh -huh. Karl Jew. Yeah, but the Dragon Kingdom doesn't see itself as subject to New China, how they, how it's become recent. They see themselves above the current for uh, politics. Just sort of tr tricky to the see they do, just like, just like Hitler. They deny Hitler, and Hitler was a world child. <laughs> you know, all, all, all the elites of the world, behind closed doors, they're all in it together. It's always been that way. <laughs> That we're watching is on deceit because that's where their power lies in deceit. You know, devil means deceit. Without deceit, they, they don't have no power. So everything we see is all. But you do have a lot of, like, uh, you, like you, you got China coming against the United States. You got uh, Russia joining forces with China. You got something called BRICS. You heard about BRICS? BRICS is uh, the. You got uh, Russia, and China, and Brazil, Russia, India. China, China, South Africa. Oh yeah, South Africa. They all join it together to overthrow the dollar, the United States dollar. They're trying oh, yeah, to form yeah. their own bank. Yeah. So you go, man, you uh, you got all these top elite. They're, they'll fight against each other. You know what I'm saying? That's what wolves is all about. Same number. Thank you, wolves. And we're yeah, it's between the top families. To them, it's just like a game of chess, mm -hmm. and we're all just cannon fodder. And we're foolish enough to join. <laughs> Nigga, we're foolish enough to join. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Our people is retarded. They'll join the these military. People, these people. And they'll go, they'll go fight for the devil and die for the devil. <laughs> you know? Right, right. I think that was a I gotta find that because I want to read about it again, man. Let's roll it up. You get, is that book online? No, nah, this, I'm just something else. That I'll get, but, uh, I might have had one of my favorites. Because I came out here and read it before. So, wait, so these people um, had to come into power sometimes because they came into power during the Renaissance period. Well, in the 1400s, right. 1400, late 13, 14, early 1400. So I'm, so I'm asking, who lost the power? We did. The, the Israelites. So, so what, what rule for a thousand? First you go, let's go back to the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire fell. Alright? And then the period that, that ensued after that was a thousand year period that they refer to as the Dark Ages. They try to say everybody was a dark. <laughs> it was really an age of light, is what it was, because the, the Bible was the law of the land for those thousand years. We were Because when we was ruled, we were we using our power. Well, so that was in European. That's our land. So when they, <laughs> when they overthrew, like when Constantinople fell, you know where Constantinople is? That was the, what you call the Eastern Roman Empire, the Christian Roman Empire. When that fell, Around, it fell around the same time. Uh, actually, it fell around 1492. What happened around that year? The, the, around the same time that Constantinople fell, it's the same time when Christopher Columbus came, came over to the Americas, started plundering, robbing. You know what I'm saying? So the devil was released out of his prison around 1492. 
That's when the Muslims came. So those Muslims weren't the regular Muslims. Those Muslims were Ottoman Turks. They weren't Arabs. They were Ottomans. They were Edomites. They were the same people as the so-called Jews. These people. Right? They were uh, the Ottoman Turks. Look to that. They were Edomites. Just like uh, they were le related to uh, Genghis Khan's people. You know Genghis Khan's people were Edomites. You know they were white people. They weren't Asians. They, they were uh, Edomites. They're Turkish people. Uh, that's where they was. It was related to the Khazars. History is fast. There's a lot of history. So yeah, so the devil, that's when the Bible talks about the devil was uh, bound into a prison for a thousand years. Okay, that's in Revelation. And uh, that thousand year period was what they called the Dark Ages. They want to say for a thousand years, people was living in ignorance. And when during those thousand years, Jake was building castles, cast giant castles, palaces. That are still standing. Shit was amazing. Still was standing. Still standing. Yep. Yeah. So, you can they, they fell out of power. Because we broke the laws. And we stopped. We That's stopped. punishment. Because we, yeah, because they was, our people, we still being wicked, mixing uh, paganism with the Bible. So, what I'm saying is, when I bring up the Venezuela things and stuff like that, um, I'm asking, did your people, there are people in mass, who should they align with as far as affecting uh, no, reality no. right now in this physical world? Well, the people in Venezuela is Israelites. Those are our people down there. Okay, okay, okay. All the Latinos, so-called Latinos, yeah. those are all Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we're supposed to be teaching them the gospel. That's mm -hmm. all we're supposed to be doing. Nothing else. No, no, no plan on no plans on prospering. Today, there's going to be no prospering. Buying it, land. There's going to be no rebuilding. No reconstituting. The Lord's about to destroy all this shit. He's about to destroy. Mm -hmm. We ain't supposed to be doing none of that shit. I mean, you got if you got to get a job and you got to eat, and if you haven't get a good job and eat, yeah. it's fine. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Right. Okay. As far as existing right now, right. who and what should you align your energies with to make that? You're, you're right here with it. With the apostles. You're right here with it. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying, as far as... Uh, Shelter. That ain't gonna happen. Right. Ain't no cat. The Lord is not gonna give you your daily bread. Then it's a matter. What do you do to like get your clothing and your necessities? What do you do to put yourself in the best position right now? But well, do what you gotta do. Yeah. Just don't be, don't sell your soul to no devil. Yeah. Okay. Don't be going to these sororities and fraternities, sucking dick, yeah, getting because, privileges. Come with a Freemason. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Or. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They'll make you do stuff against your will. Right, right. You, if you got to, like I said, get you a job if you got to get a job, man. But the main thing is this right here. Yeah, this Time is about to change to a point that you're going you gonna to wish you had this when it happens. Because this, what's that, Isaiah uh, 28 when it says wisdom? All right, wisdom you know what, that's right funny because I just got it. Oh, cool. Isaiah 33 and 6. That's the spirit. And wisdom and knowledge. Actually, we started uh, 5. Isaiah 33 and 5. The Lord is exalted. For he dwelleth on high. He hath built Zion with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of salvation. The That's fear right. of the Lord is his treasure. Fear of the Lord. So That's you know, the treasure. He's telling you right there, something's about to happen. And it's going to happen that it's going to be... It's, I mean, you see what happened in Baltimore, right? Woo! And that's, that, that's the plan for this whole country. The whole country. The whole country is about to go down a plane. At one time. This will be race wars. This will be crime wars. Women gonna be getting raped. You gotta, this is gonna be fun. You gotta be ready for it. It's gonna be hot. This is gonna be a hot summer. This summer. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. You see what happened? The riots broke out in Baltimore. The whole city shut down. And when nobody going to work. That's just the plan of the Heavenly Father. He's just slowly bringing it in. He's just slowly bringing it in. But what we're getting laughed at, we're watching this nation that oppressed us, uh, oppressed us, because we're older brothers. They oppressed the shit out of us. We're, we're getting a good laugh watching it fall crumble, man. Uh -huh. These like, same people that oppress the hell out of us pulling us over. Right. For nothing, you Taking know. Money, taxing taxing you. the shit out of you. These people are falling now. Yeah. This will become a time when they're going to be in the same condition as the homeless people, man. Like you're talking them. about money, too, though. Yeah. You know, real money is not paper. Yeah. That's, that's not, that's right not there. money. That's yeah. Edomite right there. What's up, Esau? What's up, Esau? Hey, how you doing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, real money is gold and silver. Yeah, yeah.
And you know, uh, gold, silver, food, land, you know, cattle, that's money. Oh, that's uh, 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 yeah. trading cattle. Something you can really hold with substance. Substance is money. Yeah. I get that. I know. You know what I'm saying? Speak ass high for <laughs> Just yeah. and that's just gonna Kinda collapse. Reserve, and, like you said with Venezuela, you got all these countries conspiring together against the United States. Dude, they want that dollar because the powers that be, the Rothschilds, the elite banker families, they want America to fall. That's why they're joining up with all these other nations. They joining up with China. They joining up. You know what I mean? Bang you bang. even got the Brit the British Crown joining forces with China. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, building a new bank. A new uh, what is it? Yeah, that's right. New, in the, new bank. A, new about bank. a month ago. That's right. So the whole goal is to drive this dollar down, and this whole economy is gonna collapse. Bringing that chip, huh? You know, um, oh, this is microchip. You said about, um, you know, pressing people in the road for no reason. Um, I have, uh, I don't have put on record or anything. It's just like super clean, right? right. And, uh, but this is like, this happened like October, pardon, uh, March 31st, um, for a month, a little over a month ago, and I have to. Uh, they kidnapped me. Case number is CRB. They said they kidnapped me. Yes, that's what they do. That's what they do. They're smart. Pick the right words. CRB seven one five zero. And what happened was, like, I was uh, on the photo and literally just standing there and then said, "Do us back and left." Literally, some rolled apart. And I was like, "No." What? Kid you not. Wow. Who said that? The driver. Uh, the operator of the bus. He said. Go to the back of the bus. And then I was like, no, it was a perfectly fine place to stand. Right. And then, they put the bus in park. They called the supervisor and like nine cop cars showed Damn. up. Damn. Serious? And you ain't do shit. Correct. It ain't no victim, no cop. Exactly. Um, they put me in handcuffs and things like that. And then, now, I'm doing it. It's completely not guilty, bro. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you're not guilty. You didn't commit no crime. Right. And so then I asked him, like, what's their proper cause? This is before they actually put me in there, so there's like five police officers like on the rest of the business. I said, well, what's the problem? Up? And then like, I had my phone in my hand, and he was just like, put your phone away. Put your phone away. And then I didn't put my hand in my pocket because, you know, they know the probably shot you five times. So I didn't put my phone away. But then he just like grabbed my phone in my hand and just like, put me in the It sucks, man. That's the entirety of the case. Like gangsters. Um, I, w- I want to uh, get the video, and because we was having 2016, this is not 65 yeah. or whatever. I want to get the video. I wish I had it with me right now. It's, it's like handy, guys. Yeah. No, I already know, bro. That's how they do you. Because yeah. they're going to try to get you in court just to put the fear in you. They're going to get the... Uh, what's the motor? Uh, you got charged they, with a high uh, misdemeanor one or two. One. They said, that, they, they said it was misconduct. I'm like, well, uh, it was so... It was, it was nothing at all. So I'm like, well, you got to be more sick with misconduct. And then they said, I was fighting and punking. There's no opponent. There's, there's no fight. Right, there's right. There. But the judge going to take your word unless you got money for a nice attorney. Mm-hmm. But for a misdemeanor? Unless, and I know you don't. You're not guilty. Right. It's a misdemeanor. Well, so they're they going to give you the max fine anyway. Regardless, well, you got to Regardless. Listen, talk to the prosecutor. He might give you a nice plea deal. Nah, I don't want to take a plea deal. But who wants well, to take a plea deal? You don't want to. You know, personally, I don't want to go back down to that fucking courthouse. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get into the Why, you can, though, yeah. Because you ain't got a plea deal. What were you about to say though before he said about the thing he said do what now? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, he's talking about the same thing he said. He said the, the uh, prosecutor. The prosecutor's gonna give you a plea deal. That's all part of the racket. And you said you wouldn't take it though. I mean, <laughs> if I didn't do nothing, hell no. <laughs> but actually, I got in the same situation. One day I was out here, and I cursed the cops out. I was being stupid though. I'm sure I wasn't acting like you. I was cursing the cops out. I told him he was. I said, fuck yeah, your he, he, He's more of a loose canvas. <laughs> now, I still didn't do nothing wrong, but I ended up paying him because I knew 
they had me on video. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was cursing, but I'm just saying. But that's how they do. They get they get you up in there and they give you the plea deal. They don't want nothing to go to trial because they know if it goes to trial, they're not going to make as much money. You know what I'm saying? You go to trial to get the maximum. Maybe that's why they give you the plea deal. Good. 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 They got it. If you didn't do nothing wrong, got you an attorney. Yeah, I, I need an attorney. I don't want to. Uh, so you represent yourself? No, I'm presenting myself, not representing myself. Right, okay. Right, okay. Yeah, right. Right. Represent needs to represent. <laughs> He's presenting himself. <laughs> that's, that's right. That is true, too. It's like the sons of God. It's, 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 it's that's the devil, bro. Because you know that court that the. Uh, so you already know a little bit about the. Uh, about the court. Well, first of all, it's a court, it's a game. Yeah. And the, that's why a judge summons you to court. Court. A judge summons you just like a wizard or a sorcerer or summons a spirit. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. Because the judge is actually a high priest of Baal, the devil. Yep. They dress in all black. You know what I'm saying? The judge sits on the bench. That's why it's all about money. The word bench means the same thing as bank. Yep. The word, the, the judge sits on the bank. Mm. Yeah. That's why you go down to the courthouse down here. What's the first thing you see when you walk in? It's cash register. <laughs> you know what I mean? A whole line of they just cash some fools out. And everybody's good with it. And everybody takes the plea deal. I mean, everybody. Don't nobody fight that shit. What do you mean? No. You know, I mean, for the most part, everybody's scared of death. And uh, most of the people in there ain't criminals. Most people in there for what? Uh, well, that's what they are. They, they not following these laws. That's why they're in there. But as far as most people in there for traffic tickets, uh, Public intoxication, some bullshit. You know what I mean? Most of it's traffic tickets. This Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yeah. Behold, the devil yeah. shall cast some of you into prison. Right, the devil will cast you into prison. That's the devil. Where in the Bible did it say if you, uh, even if you got caught stealing? Well, that's that's a real crime, right? But there's no law in the Bible that says if you get caught stealing, you get locked up in prison. Actually, you get lashes, is what you get. You get beat and then you get set free. And then you gotta pay wherever you stole from back sevenfold. That's right. You know what I mean? They ain't gonna go on and get locked up, none of that shit. Put people in prison for life. Yes, yes, still And actually the Bible says, there's a law in the Bible that says if you're hungry, you're allowed to steal. I mean, yeah. if you're hungry and you get caught stealing, you was hungry. You had to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's a compassion. That's a comp There's no compassion out here. This big ass planet Earth and people walking around starving. Well, yeah, especially America's a giant slave plantation. Yeah, yeah. Some wicked ass goddamn guns. Some wicked ass goddamn guns. This country alone can feed the whole entire the world, whole world with no problem. Yeah, yeah. This one continent, man. And this is a small. This ain't yeah. nothing compared to. Russia, you see them giant ass cotton rushes on there? They say Ooh. even Ukraine was like the bread basket in Europe. Right, right, right. All that wheat they grow. You know how yeah. much wheat and corn yeah. they grow over here? Yeah. This is some of the most fertile lands in the world. Over here? People here? Stole. Yeah. America got some fertile lands. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a paradise at one point. Yeah. This is an actual paradise at one point. It was beautiful at one time. Beautiful. Yeah. They fucking this shit up. Goddamn Esau. Thank you, Esau. With Thank you, Esau. Didn't they call it the Garden of Eden at one point? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Sure well, I mean, the whole earth was originally a paradise. Yeah. But if Garden of Eden is, you think about things. Right here. Right here. Wow. Yeah. They call it say America is the land of milk and honey. That's, that, that, that's not true. It, it is for some people, maybe. Not for us. The Bible said this is not our rest. No, no, no. I'm not talking about it. And then, the nickname is... I know what you're saying, though. Okay, I know what you're saying. Okay, like resources-wise and... Uh, right, because there's a lot of resources, yeah. a lot of gold, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a shitload of resources. Yeah, there still they, is. They made it so that you can't live off the land. You, know? you can't live off the land. You just can't do it. You can't build your own house. They'll come through, like, oh, this is... This is, a. Uh, this is not up to code. Uh, he was not <laughs> authorized to build here. <laughs> you must pay taxes. <laughs> you know, a lot of... Uh, what if I wanted to build a house out of adobe bricks? I want to dig some mud up, make me some bricks, 
about building the house just right here. They gonna come and I'm gonna get arrested. They gonna tear my house down. I don't know. I'm gonna do that. They, they're, they're fucking faggots. I don't know why they protect me. They're not all people. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. I didn't have to do it. I'm asking. Yesterday, I think they're they're related to the so-called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of them they have they have their land system. Why? Because a lot of them are Edomites. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They have their land system. You know what I mean? Like the Native Americans. And actually, they they shut they shut down the Amish people. Oh really? Because now they uh they're trying to. Uh, Alex Jones talks about that shit a lot. You ever listen to Alex Jones? Sometimes. But he he always goes with that Amish shit. I don't really follow it a lot. Uh, your girl will know about it. She said she lived with the Amish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she said, no, you think they're going to shut down? Yeah, because they don't, they don't like the Amish uh, living like that. they going to shut that shit down. they going to go after them. The, the, the way they're going to do it first is they're going to corrupt them. Mm -hmm. First they're going to corrupt them. That's like they're going now. This is a reality show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ain't no more scandals. They all involved with scandals. And That's how they, they <laughs> corrupt you through the, uh, through the morality. Right there, you got no morality. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> Good God. They said they do what now? They said they drag the dudes out. Woo! This bitch is, uh... <laughs> yeah, they have thoroughbred hoes right there. My fault. Yeah, because that's how they come up to us. They strip they you all your morality. That's why, they, that's why they're so heavy on this faggot agenda. They, they're constantly pushing this faggot shit on them. You know what I mean? They constantly turn everybody into homosexuals. They didn't know they strip everybody of their morality. They tell women it's okay to uh, commit adultery. You can leave your husband. You can test the waters. And then they, they destroy the family duty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, that's the man's power and strength in this family. Yeah. Now you take that away from a man, what does he have? He got nothing. If he ain't got control, right. If he ain't got control of his own family, he ain't got control of shit. And then they... Fuck you up, uh, your wife commit adultery on you, leave you, then she getting you for child support. Mm -hmm. Then didn't you you busy fighting and toiling just to pay some goddamn child support and you can't even concentrate on nothing else. Right. You know what I mean? That's all it's all these traps. I know that people that so. chose prison instead of paying the wife. I'd rather go to prison. You know? I'd rather go to prison. I've seen people actually choose prison because they get their checks back. And this dude I know, man, he had a good ass job too, making about he was making like uh, like two fifteen hundred two G's a week, but when he got paid, he was ending up with like two hundred dollars. I said, man, I'm ready to go to prison. He got that uh, he did it to use that workout. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. We on YouTube, we on YouTube. You got a Twitter, Twitter account? What up? What up? What up? Type in. You want to type in? Oh, Twitter, uh, Kings, oh. Of the, Kings of the Earth on Twitter. Yeah, right yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, I post everything on Twitter. Every time a video gets uploaded, well, that's easy to remember. You can watch that Kings of the Earth also on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is woe into the wicked. What? Woe into the wicked. Alright, now you know, Kings of the Earth, at every time Kings of the Earth, that's easy to remember on Twitter. Our YouTube channel is actually woe into the wicked, too. Cause a lot of them, I'm telling you, they, they used to get deleted a lot. Back uh, five years ago, we done had over like 50 channels deleted. You know what I mean? They kind of slacked off a little bit recently. Every time we turn around, channel deleted. Yeah, we used to get our channels deleted once a week. Who's doing it? YouTube. Like I know, but like, I don't know. Who's, who's, oh, you know who's like flagging it? People flagging it. He, that is a, there's a uh, hit put out on us by the government. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, nice put out on us last week. Oh yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh, just weirdo. Some like some fucking fools. Yeah, a fucking weirdo. I guess they thought they were gonna scare us when we were gonna run off. They ran the hell off. <laughs> Wait, so like they came up to you like this and what I'm talking shit? It's talking shit. We had a big ass Rambo night. After so much yeah. while, we talking shit, you know, and reading scriptures back to them, cutting them up. Because the scripture cuts You know, it, right. It, 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 the scripture, right. Let me read it for you. <laughs> a lot of people, man, we, people want to fight us all the time, man. Mm -hmm. We try to give us some truth. 
They just get offended. We get down if we have to. We can, <laughs> we can kick it with people. Yeah, you know. we get down if we a have to. A lot of people that get offended, they just hate, the, hate this Bible so yeah. much. This is why, though. This is Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Yeah, this is a sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Right, because if you ain't right, these words, they, they cut up your spirit. People get offended. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh, the Bible actually calls people fools, you know, idiots, stupid. Say so they're going to be destroyed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, right. I, I remember 12 verse 1. Like, I like that. Is that Proverbs? Chapter 12 verse 1. I love Proverbs. Yeah. Yeah. You really know this Bible is like a real manly book. You know it's, only for, yeah, it's only for us. It's only for men. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. Right, that's a good one. There you go. He that, but he that hateth recruit is brutish. That's bad. Yeah, that's, that's a good bad. scripture, man. <laughs> hey, it, yeah, yeah. Most of these fools they hate. What's the other one? Proverbs. Uh, fools despise wisdom. Uh, Proverbs one. <laughs> Most of people ain't trying to be instructed. They already know everything. You know what I mean? That's one of the best things you can know is to know that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just too proud, man. No, well, nobody wants to be proven wrong. They probably like, stop them from accepting their own and coming to the truth. The Lord, let me read it. This is Proverbs 3 and 1. Yeah. My son, despise not chastening of the Lord. Right. Neither be wary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. That's really has shown people love coming out here. <laughs> right. You know, we risk our lives. We come out here. You know, we forsake our families and everything. We come out here and push his truth. Even as a father the son in whom he delighteth, happy is the man that findeth wisdom. And the man that get us understand. Right, because we had we found his wisdom, we was happy. We screamed hallelujah. Who else do you see on the streets? Mm -hmm. Reading scriptures. <laughs> that's that's how be passionate, you know what I mean? And that's the order of the Bible to get your ass on the streets and read them scriptures. Yeah, come out here, kick this. That's an order. Mm -hmm. that You're supposed to. There is no exceptions. There are some exceptions with brothers that hear the truth and that helps out, you know, with you might have some you might have some real famous people mm -hmm. being the truth. You know, they can't, they got to watch what they do. You know, right, right, right. Even though they should still be bold in the spirit and say they held it. But I can understand certain situations. But for the most part, brothers should be out here teaching. Right. Can, that dude claimed to be a Jew. He ain't no fucking fool. Dude's a redheaded bastard. What a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wearing this like a star of David. Right, right. Here you go, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cries without. She utters her voice. In the streets. She utters her voice in the streets. <laughs> I got a precept for you. Did it say in the church? In the temples? The original the written in Greek. The word church, word for church is not a building. The word church in the Greek was a, 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 a uh, it means a congregation. Yeah. We're supposed to congregate, to get yeah. together. Yeah. A gathering, a calling out. Yeah. Uh, let me get a scripture real quick. Matthew, uh, what was that, 22? Oh, misunderstanding. People have the world half of the Bible. They turn it into a religious book. That's why they don't have no wisdom. Like German, I think in German it's like circle. Like circle. Like right, that's yeah, circle. circle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's right. Circle. Germain, like Germain means original. Now you be studying a little bit. I know you know a little bit about the course and shit, so you've been studying something. <laughs> yeah. Talking about the dragon family and shit. Right, yeah. right. That's good, though. Yeah, that's most, good. The majority you know? of most people that walk up is retarded as hell. Right. To you way you out there truth. searching, searching yeah, for truth. That's an Israelite. Yeah. That's a characteristic of an Israelite. Yeah, out there searching. There you go. He's out there searching. The you same thing. We did. We was doing the same thing. There you go. Where's that at? Uh, I'm gonna read this while you get that. Okay, Matthew 22 and nine. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Because we out here fishing, you know what I'm saying? We, when you out fishing, like we bringing the bad and the good, we might catch somebody. But it might be like a cart. Or, uh, you got to throw it back. That's what I'm bringing. Or push a 
fast enough. Yeah, they're good fish. Good fish. With the scales and the fins. With the scales and fins. <laughs> we ain't fish for catfish. <laughs> so we'll pull with some catfish. And they be out here chilling with us sometimes, teaching with us. They have to go wild, they'll fall off, and they'll go back into the world. <laughs> Here you go, Whistle Solomon, Solomon, Silver Solomon, 3 1. By night on my bed, I saw him. Whom my soul buckled, I saw him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets, the streets. and in the broadways. I will seek him who my soul loveth. I saw him, but I found him not. The watchmen that go about the city found me. To whom I said, Saw ye him who my soul loveth. That's right, crazy, to your soul love, to the Lord. That's why you also, you just not just go out in any streets. We're supposed to go out in the hottest spots in the city. We make a spectacle of ourselves. That's supposed to go hide out in the alley, in a little side street. I mean, you can do that, but you want to go out in the craziest place possible so everybody can see you. So, because uh, we got to teach all nations too. Because Israel scattered among uh, all these heathens. And, there's all kind of heathens out here. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna find out here. You don't know what you're gonna find. <laughs> it's amazing. But well, we teach other places too sometimes. Extra We need to go back in the, the, the dirty south. Where are you from? Uh, here in Denver. Oh, you from Denver? Oh, wow. Oh yeah, well, I'm from Columbus on the south side. Fix it. Fix it. Oh, yeah, never in the city of Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah huge. I've always been wanting to go there, too. That's where the, that's the real capital of the government down in Denver. That's where they open the mountains. That's where they just moved all the, uh, NORAD. And moving all, yeah, that's where the fly here, you went yeah. to Denver's airport. Oh, Denver got a crazy airport. Oh, they redesigned it. Oh, did yeah. they? Well, you guys, I think I know what you're talking about. Like, they got the gas mask dude with the apocalyptic paintings. Yeah, I think, I think that happened after I left. Uh, oh, yeah. That shit was bugged out. All right, so you've been here for a minute then. Huh? I got, I came here when I was younger. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, but, but different. Oh, we're from the south side. It's Columbus, ain't no joke. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm from the south side, the dirty south. The dirty <laughs> south way, like... No, no, I'm talking about the south side of Columbus. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the dirty south in this city. It's dirty, it's filthy. It ain't bad the west side. Now, the west side is pretty bad. The bottom yeah, is more the bottom. Oh, the bottom is terrible. It's the south side is so grimy and people are so grimy. I, I was at the south side. Like, well, I was at the south side by Obed, so the way south. Oh, that's way south, dude. Yeah. That's where it's kind of The real south, south side is. In between Parsons, Livingston, <laughs> Parsons, Livingston, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock, Rockford, yeah. Marion Road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you go past Marion, you leap just past the south side. That's yeah. Southfield past Marion. Oh, the Southfield, they claim that south side is good. South side is pretty gangster now, though. They said west side. West side is west side, west side is grindy, man. The hilltops and the bottom is grindy. <laughs> I, I had. I live, I had like a place in the hill for like three months, seven months, but yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, out west, yeah, they got them old houses, it looked like they about to collapse, <laughs> <laughs> that shit right in there, yeah, did they did it, I hate that, I think now they're trying to, they fix it up, at least near downtown, like Frankfurt or something, I think it is, uh, yeah, Frank yeah, 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 right, right, they only let them landlords get away with it because they're paying their taxes still. Yep. Well, some motherfuckers are some super strong man. Because yeah, well, there's a lot of reason uh, people... Franklin said that's where the city started. It's Franklin. Columbus used to be two cities. It used to be on that side of the river. It was Franklinton. And then Columbus was all German over here. But uh, but then they, they, they got dams and shit on the side of the river. And the bottoms got flooded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why a lot of uh, rich people used to live right there on the river. Mm -hmm. That's they all moved out, and that's all the poor people moved in. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, terrible place to live. The terrible floods. place. Everything is stupid. It's terrible. That's
I don't understand how they let them down over there. Because like I said, they're allowing them to get loans on land where they pay them taxes. They don't care less than other people. Right, this whole There's some Israelites down there, really. Yep, this whole city's falling apart, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, you city. see these goddamn potholes? Up north where I'm at, man, ain't nothing but you see no gas leaks everywhere, man. Yep. Gas leaks. The house just blew up somewhere. I can't remember where it just blew up though. This city's infrastructure is old as hell. Yeah, it's old. Right, right, oh, right. 78 yep. years old. Yep. All the houses on the yep. south side, the west side, uh, the east is a little more new. It, all the houses on the south side and west side are like over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All them copper, all that copper plumbing. They got lead pipes still. It's bursting down. Yep. It's all rotted out. That's why your house is blowing up. That's why you hear about water leaks. Uh, water upper main Arlington, breaks. Upper Arlington been blowing up. And that's white rich people. Yep. Upper Arlington. When that water main breaks, that that uh, bacteria, bad bacteria, gets in the water. And that's why they clear a, a, a water emergency. So don't get drink the water and all that. And that's happening that's in happen, there. That's been happening a lot, yeah. Now, you can imagine what's happening in the city where we live at. Mm -hmm. It's far worse. And that's really the whole nation is like that. It's falling mm -hmm. apart. Yep, yep. That's, that's biblical. Most, yeah. most of this nation's infrastructure was built. After World War II, you know what I mean? Right, yep. Yeah. America was riding high. And it was high, but now <laughs> it's everything's public. You're living good, and The bro. government corrupt as hell. They don't take none of that tax money and put it into the infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. Look at the pie chart. Look at the pie chart. That pie chart is crazy. That's a, it's actually a joke. <laughs> and they tax the hell out of us, too. And them tax dollars is not getting put in <laughs> They go to a lavish cocaine devil worship party. That's where they're they going. That's why he looked at us. That's what they do, bro. They worship the devil. I mean, it sounds crazy and bugged out. Like these, all these government officials, the ma you name it, the mayor, the governor. You can't just anybody be the mayor and the governor. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen uh, City Hall? Down here, what's that off? Uh, right off a of broad. Yeah. It's a temple. Look at it. It's a temple. Oh yeah. Just like the state house is a Roman temple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why did Why did the uh, the Moors bring the Europeans you know, over there to bring stuff? Why did Why did they bring it? Bring what? To All the, the, the like the sciences and arts, and, the, and then basically use it against them. And like, like 1492 and stuff. But the Moors, but the Moors, uh, there's some truth to that Moors stuff, but there's a lot of falsehoods to it also. But I'm saying, like, I know what you're saying, like, but the while they bring mathematics. It, yeah, why would they do that in the first place? Well, because there's, there's a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because all them Euro, so called Europeans are not all Edomites. They allow them to take living all through Europe. Okay. And they, they have mathematics in Europe. How else do they build them giant church steeples and temples and shit? You know what I mean? That castle. You can't, you can't just be a retard building that shit. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but yeah, but like the, uh, the new rules we use today, like one, the way we write, one, two, three, that's Arabic. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that, a lot of that mathematics shit came from the Moors, like uh, the Moors preserved, <laughs> they went off, they was preserving a lot of the old ancient Greek philosophers text, you know what I mean? They uh, brought a lot of astrology. They preserved a lot of ancient astrology texts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know about all that. But the, they was going off, though, because they was worshiping Allah. But, like, I mean, independent of what they're worshiping, I'm saying, as far as, like, politically, they, they knew they fought them before, but, like, why would they help them, the guys who uh, fought them before, and then now they're down, why would they help them back up? Like, um, but, like I said, not all the Moors... The, the, the Moors on the west coast of Africa, northern Africa, they was not the same as the rest of the Muslims. You know what I'm saying? They was an Israelite. It's like the Crusades was mostly Jake, the so-called Christians. They was going from Europe. The Normans, you know who the Normans are? Who are the Normans? They were Vikings. And they, right, they conquered the northern France we get Normandy. Then they conquered England. They became the kings of England. They were some of the main ones behind the crusade. They went all the way back to Jerusalem to fight those Muslims, to fight the Arabs. You know, those were not black people. They, those were the Ishmaelites they was fighting. Because they was trying to reclaim Jerusalem. But then you had a lot of Israelites too who lived in the west, 
coast of Africa, northern Africa. They was Israelites, but they was caught up in, the, in the Islam. They were so-called black people, but they was caught up worshiping Islam because they had been conquered by the Arabs. The Arabs, because they, you know, all of northern Africa and all of western Africa used to be Christian. And so, so the, the Arab came through and uh, forced everybody to convert by the sword. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the biggest churches was in uh, Alexandria, yeah. right there in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about Norway, that's the Vikings, they conquered Italy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I told you the word again. Uh, the Norman, at least Northmen. Okay, and, yeah, you feel like what you're saying about uh, uh, the biggest churches in the Middle East. Yeah, right, it's on Northern Africa. Yeah, churches all through Northern Africa, right? Uh, they're all been uh, up in Libya, Egypt, you know what I'm saying? All, all, all through there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they was forced to convert by the school. So that, that's why a lot of our brothers, they got lost in that Islam shit. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Protection of transportation, protection of they only spend it one percent of the budget. How much? One percent. Welfare is makes up eleven percent. Education is three percent. Yeah, educate. They ain't educate nobody. General government. Um. Everything goes to defense. <laughs> Everything is defense, right? Defense is twenty-three, but this is off though. Because defense is actually more is more than three thirds. I gotta find the actual. This goes to show that all the money goes to the military. This is a pie chart for American citizens. For their tax dollars. Yeah. Uh, tax dollars. Who is it? America. Yeah, yeah, yeah but man. Yeah. 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 This is um, U.S. Oh shit. U.S. government spending. U.S. Who signed this? Who signed this? Who signed this? This is gonna show they take all our money. They spend it on fucking missiles and shit. Yeah.